Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing today? <clears throat> Had an eventful evening last night. Lots of you would have seen that, I'm sure. And uh, our little one is doing fine, having breakfast. Looky, looky, right there. I never did check to see what the heck it was, if it was a boy or a girl. And I still don't know. But he or she... Oh, it's a girl. She is a black-white face. And is doing fine. So we're going to do a little bit of feeding here. And uh, then I got to run to the city and pick some stuff up and drop some stuff off. Hey girl, she doesn't want to leave her baby alone. And that's fine, if that's what she wants. And so, I want to kick some other girls out of their pen. The old Dodge is running. It's the first time the Dodge is going to be leaving the yard. And, oh my God. Uh, like two and a half weeks. Good morning. You guys going out? Huh? You going out? Hey, you. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go outside and get some fresh air. There they go. Just like that. Give them their breakfast. Right here. And we'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Alrighty guys, so uh, yeah, we're in the old Dodge. And we're hooked up to the cheap man's grain trailer. And we took a trailer load of freaking bottles in, like freaking. Uh, if all the beer bottles were in bags too, there probably would have been somewhere around 30 some odd freaking garbage bags of pop cans and milk jugs and beer bottles. And got rid of that stuff, got our chainsaw from iFix for You. They're a small engine repair shop in the city. We were having some issues with it and. Ended up doing a carb job on it, actually. Uh, so, got that back. And now we're on our way to Richardson Pioneer to get an empty weight. And then from there, we got to go up to a buddy's place and uh, pick up some common... Well, it's a foraging, silaging barley seed, basically. But I'm just buying barley. Uh, so, we're going to go get some barley from him. And the plan is to put that stuff in the ground and hopefully we get the rain at the right time and it does well for us. How's that sound? So that's what we're off to doing now. Get an empty weight and then get loaded and then get a loaded weight and so on and so forth. So fun, fun, fun. Peter Patter, let's get it at her, boys. Alrighty, so we got our got our empty weight. And uh we're just about over to my buddy's place to pick up this barley. Oh, so they're also dairy farmers. And they got uh, they got themselves a pretty good setup going on here. Went from, well, they still got the tie stall barn. And uh, they also got a robot barn now too. Oh, so 
but we'll be done here shortly I'm sure they said they're all set up and ready to dump right into my trailer so we'll uh, bring you guys back in a bit alrighty guys well we got we got the barley all loaded up uh, I think I'm a little bit over a little bit more than than what I asked for I th I asked for 100 bushels to do 40 acres. I didn't put my seat belt on, that's why it's buzzing. There's one of those frames that I built for these guys. Right there. They're just mounting that stuff on it now. But anyway, yeah, we, we asked for 100 bushels to do 40 acres of this barley. And I think I'm sitting around 105, maybe 110. I got to get a weight, loaded weight on it yet, which is no big deal. And they still have a little more available themselves, and they got some bin run. Uh, you guys just get a hold of get a hold of me through Facebook Messenger, Brendan Panna on Facebook, and then I'll send. Uh, send you their contact info that way uh, so so yeah or you could always email me too at uh, bc bcpana at gmail.com uh, so anyways I'm just gonna stop up here and say hi to my old boss how's that sound I used to work for these guys I worked here for like 11 years on their dairy and just and then been gone for the last little while and uh, they just built this uh, robot barn here a couple years ago so I'll say hi to Brian and we'll bring you guys back later alrighty well here we are we had a good old chat session with with my buddy there and uh, just coming in for a loaded weight here so we'll find out here right away what the heck our loaded weight is going to be. I'm just going to set you guys here. And we'll pull right in and there's nobody here. So we'll get a loaded weight right, right away. This is uh, Richardson Pioneer, Balgoni, Saskatchewan. Actually, St. Joseph's. Saskatchewan. Nine thousand and thirty KG. Write that down. Nine zero three zero. So we got more than enough barley, that's for sure, at 48 pounds per bushel. Uh, I'll have to do the numbers when I get home, but yeah, we got way more than enough. figured I should be about 84, 8,500 pounds and we're 9,000 or 84, 8,500 kgs and we're 9,000 kg so we, I figured I had about 105 on so once I get home and do the math we'll figure it all out then we'll talk to you guys then talk to you later alrighty guys well there she be the cheap man's grain trailer back in action. And this old friggin' 6 inch auger, or 7 inch by 30, 6 by 30. But the old Princess's Auto 13 horse, the Power Fist model. She fired right up, first pull. So, Mr. Ugly. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get this unloaded. We'll talk to you guys later. 
Look at this, guys. I just came out here in this little thing. She was curled up in the feed tub. Come on, little girl. And yes, guys, this is a girl. There she goes. Tomorrow she comes out of here. Just, uh, what the heck is it? 10.30 at night or something like that? Just came out to do a check on the other cows. All right, I'll bring you guys back later. Uh, probably bring you back tomorrow unless there's something happening over here.